resistors, which then goes to a small vibrating motor. Oh, the more wow. Pressure and, and the harder they grip, the uh, higher the frequency the vibration becomes. So it gives them direct feedback as soon as they're gripping. <laughs> Lots of practice. Good grip strength. <laughs> it does have a good grip strength. The electronics support a variety of inputs. Mm -hmm. Depending on the user, the arm can be controlled by nerves, muscles, or even foot pedals. Oh, how cool. And if I push on my little toe, it goes down. And then I have a mile site up here, I switch. Oh, modes. yeah, with your muscles. So That's now, cool. when I push on the ball of my foot, it rotates the wrist. Push on the outside, it rotates. The next step could be a take-home clinical trial where users like Chuck subject the arm to their everyday routines. Certainly we hope within the next, if we can follow the program in the next years, we can actually have a commercially available arm. I've been able to do stuff with this that I haven't, seriously haven't done in 26 years. Like what? Uh, pick up a banana, peel a banana and eat it without it squishing it. And the payback we get is when somebody like Chuck says, I fed myself for the first time in 26 years. That's why we build medical products. I, I can't wait to get one of these in a real environment, home environment. Yeah. But actually, actually, my wife can't either. Yeah. She's going, oh yeah, I got lots of stuff for you to do. <laughs> <laughs>